Hey, sir, come here, come here. I got the best package PC for you. Only 3499. Sir, sir, here, I got a better offer, sir. Package PC, same spec, 2999. Hmm, same specs, but different price. I know money now. I go cheap one lah. Okay, here's a fact that you need to know before going for cheap deals. The specs from the surface may look the same, but you as a customer may not know that every PC parts have generations, similar to how iPhone works. There's iPhone 11, there's iPhone 13. There's 11 Gen i5, there's also 13 Gen i5. Now, if you compare iPhones, they may not have that much difference. But for PC parts, it makes a lot of difference in terms of performance. Performance is very straightforward. The better gens will always have an upgraded performance. But how much difference are they really are? Well, here's a solid comparison. The 10 Gen i5 is already having the same performance as the 13 Gen i3. Oh wait, actually the 13 Gen i3 is already similar to the 10 Gen i7. Sure, the new gens is a bit more expensive. But you have to know, software and games will always be updating. They don't wait for you. Eventually, old generation parts will not be able to perform. So, spend more to last long or spend less? Your choice. But, there are more factors that can help you decide which model to choose other than the generations. It is the model tier itself. i3, i5, i7, and i9. Remember when I said new generations will have better performance? Yeah, it applies to all tiers as well. So, if you're ready to go for the latest 13 gen models, we can now choose the model tier. If you are a casual user that wants to browse the web, do PowerPoints or Excel, and watching Netflix, then your choice would be the 13 gen i3. This model is good enough to support your task. If you like to game and only game at 1080p, then the 13 gen i5 is the best for you. From here, you just have to pair it with the better GPU to support 2K or 4K gaming, because going higher than i5 wouldn't affect gaming performance unless you are planning to get a high-end GPU models like the 4090 to avoid any bottleneck. If you do professional work such as video editing, 3D rendering and AI training, then the 13 Gen i7 and i9 would be the right one for you. To choose between the i7 and i9, you will need to know how complex your professional work is. As an example, for video editing, are you editing at 1080p or 4K footage? For 3D rendering, are you only doing modeling or also need to render in 4K? With these reasons, you can determine the correct model tier. You may think, ayo, this is so much stuff to think about eh. Don't you worry, just contact us and we can guide you from zero until you are 100% ready to decide. Thank you.